What's goody fellas and welcome back to a brand new reload draft build. Are you guys not extremely excited? Look at my owner's name. We have a quarterback. <laughs> That's right. We are doing the Cincinnati Bengals today. I've already done the uh, taking the liberty of uh, trading away all the players we don't need. Joe Burrow, I believe, is a superstar in this game. We got Tyler Boyd, John Ross, Auden Tate. Joe Mixon is already a breakout player, which you know what that means. I do like the rule that we put in place. We're going to make him an X Factor. How does that sound? We got to get O-line extremely bad. I do like Drew Sample, but if another tight end, you know, happens to come our way, I'm going to get him. The D-line needs work. Cornerback, safety, middle linebackers, or linebackers in general. I mean, we are down bad right now. There's so much work to do, but the base pieces that we have are extremely good. I'm just glad we have a quarterback. That's all I need, bro. So as you can see right here, breakout player, which is none other than Joe Mixon. But with the rules that we do have in place, it means that we are allowed to just, you know, make him an X Factor. It makes the three year grind a lot easier. If you're new around here, basically what we do is we have to try and build a Super Bowl winning team in three off seasons by only using draft picks. We're allowed to trade players, but we're not allowed to trade four players only for draft picks. When it comes time for the off season, you can go in, but you can only sign one person per season. Now, look at this. Watch Riley Richard be the best bloody quarterback. The one time we don't need a draft one and there's a goon right there. I got to get O-line extremely bad. Receiver would be good as well, but we, we already have a lot. I'm going to chuck them on just in case you never know. One of them happens to be an X Factor, you know? Okay, so I simulated to week 15 because I only really need the first round this time. But I think I might have messed up. Give me a second. Are we still relocating? Is that what's going on? Not available at this time. Does that mean we're still the Bengals? That's okay. We can do it next time around. But as you can see, I got rid of people like AJ Green, Carlos Dunlap. We have what? One, two, three, four, five, six first round picks. The first round looking very nice. I actually really like this class. There's a lot of wide receivers. Not that we need it, unfortunately. Look how many good wide receivers there are, bro. This is ridiculous. I need a cornerback. Antoine McLean, you any good? You were mid first rounder. What about Marcus Sykes? You're an early first. Nice. Enrique Steffens is an er, uh, mid first in the second round. That's good. Carl Connor center. Yes, early first. Ooh, man, this is the, I've been very excited. And it's funny because because we already have a quarterback, I genuinely want to get O-line straight away. Like I want to get it done this episode. Don't be surprised if five of our six picks are all offensive linemen if they're good enough. After trading away AJ Green and Dunlap, we have $90 million in cap room, bro. That is insane. There's a lot of people to re-sign. Don't get it twisted, but You know what's funny as well? At some point in this rebuild, we're going to have to re-sign Joe Burrow. And by then, the dude's probably going to be like a 99 overall. I am not looking forward to that episode. Let's guess that the MVP is going to be, the Heisman is going to be Kalen Gilmore. Star on both sides of the ball for Clemson. All right, I feel like this guy's going to be a cornerback. So, Kalen Gilmore, Chamberlain Rose to the occasion for Alabama this weekend. Big late season performance for the big O lineman. Okay, so we're going to look out for Chamberlain Gilmore with Joshua Moran on the opposing sideline. Pat Perryman found another gear to lead Wake Forest to victory. Pat Perryman. All right, I got it. All right, there's Kalen Gilmore. He's a wide receiver, but he's a late. So, I'm actually going to take him off the board. So, there's Pat Perryman. He's an early first. Unfortunately, we don't need it though because we have Mixon. And Greg Chamberlain is terrible. This guy's a first rounder, but he's projected second. Those little draft story things have done nothing but negatively impact the draft for us. I don't know what it is. It's just never been good. Like, yes, okay, sometimes it's good, but most of the time it's not. Like, look at these O linemen. Oh, Wolf. Okay. Fifth rounder projected as a late first. D-line is definitely a positional need, so that's very good to see. Matt Ryan going to be the MVP. No, Joe Burrow. Really, that's kind of disappointing. He's ninth on offensive player. Okay, the only thing I care about... Oh, Logan Wilson? Third on D... Okay. Come on, please be offensive rookie. Let's go! 83 overall, finally. Logan Wilson going to be your defensive rookie of the year. Wow, he played absolutely amazing. Let's go check out these stats real quick. Not bad at all from the rookie. Joe Burrow with 4,200 yards, 25 touchdowns, 13 picks. Joe Mixon with 1,100 yards, 9 touchdowns on the season. Rodney Anderson was a pretty solid backup with 5 touchdowns. John Ross with 14 
100 yards, seven touchdowns. I was thinking about just not re-signing him, but how could I not when he's putting up these kind of numbers? That is incredible. Logan Wilson with 127. He had 12 TFLs, a sack and a half, and five picks. You can already tell that by season four, we are going to have probably a 90 plus overall team for the first time in Reload Draft Field history. $49 million in cap. We only need one player. Well, we can only sign one player. And Kenny Clark is there. I am willing to go all out for this guy. But then again, Desmond King is there too. We got to go D-line for sure, right? Like, I mean, he's an X-Factor. So that kind of really helps uh, sway me here. That's a lot of signing bonus. Okay, we are first by a pretty nice amount. If we don't pick up Kenny Clark, though, I feel like Desmond King is definitely going to be gone. Okay, he still hasn't made up his mind yet. Ooh, the Jaguars overtook us. Desmond King is still there. We're going to have to retake the Jaguars here. I, I, I got to do it, bro. This is a 99 overall D lineman. We got him. Nice. Okay, dude. Already up big time in this rebuild. So we got an X Factor on offense and defense. The draft is looking to be really solid. We have the third overall pick. All the rest of our picks are in the midsection, which uh, really sucks. Okay, we got the combines. I'm looking for anything that stands out. More like a Jimmy Bonds. Oh my. Andy's name's Jimmy Bonds? Bro, <laughs> I have to get him. Akil Cole looks like a beast. He's a mid first rounder. Jose Jennings also looks like a stud, but he's a late. Suddenly D line isn't a big focal point anymore. It's not really a big deal. I would like to get a tight end uh, in the later rounds if that's at all possible. BJ Knight looks solid. He's going to be around a 70, low 70s, high 60s more than likely. Sean Spikes, that's what I'm looking for. Late second round, they're probably going to be like 70, 71. That's good. I just can't believe how good the wide receiver class is. Look how many wide receivers there are with over a seven combine. Will Reese, by, like, I, I almost want to trade up to get this guy. The Vikings got the first pick. I feel like they're going to go quarterback here. They take Kalen Gilmore, who was the uh, the Heisman winner. Didn't turn out to be a good pick. The Titans are going to take Demarcus Underwood. So that's two wide receivers off the board, and both of them are bad. I don't know how they didn't see that. Uh, what's his name? The wide receiver. Oh, yeah, it's Will Reese. I don't know how they didn't see this guy. I have to pull the trigger here because we're going to get more weapons. He runs a 4.39 as a 40-inch vert. But at the same time, I kind of want to go after that linebacker we saw. Oh, Jose Jennings is a late first. Okay, well, I'm taking the consensus number one. Will Reese, it's got to be. 76, normal dev. Okay, he is ranked three, though. 92 speed, 90 excel. Ah, yikes. <laughs> oh, no. I got baited again, guys. What can I say? Kevin Davis. Okay, this guy is an early first. I reckon I can pick him up later on, though. Oh, my goodness. Marcus Sykes is an absolute unit, dude. Okay, everybody's kind of like a mid to, you know, late round. This cornerback's an early first. I'll probably get him with the next pick. But for now, I got to take the best available, which is none other than Marcus Sykes. 79 overall. Ranked first in true talent. All right, so that means the D-line is basically done because I know we have a defensive end and one DT. We signed Kenny Clark. Now we have Marcus Sykes. Okay, they took Montreal Mason. Get baited, Dolphins. Woo! Now I got to get that cornerback. Max Saxton, this is him. Early first. Let's see what it is. 75, another normal development. Where are the X-Factors, bro? Where are the stars? Come on. I bet you that quarterback was probably an X-Factor. Antoine McLean is next off the board. Okay, the only problem is we definitely can't take D-line now, which is pretty much all of the remaining players that I have. I think we should definitely start getting to work on this O-line. You're a late. Can you be maybe like a mid? You're an early. Oh, say no more. Kyle Connor, welcome to the squad. 75 overall, ranked fifth in true talent. So we've got first, third, fifth, and like a couple of picks in between that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Akil Cole is here. I'm going to take him. He looks way too good. Hidden development, let's go. Ranked 16th in true talent. 91 excel, 88 speed for a D lineman. He's a coverage linebacker. But let's hope he's like a superstar or something. I need the fourth rounder to get Jimmy Barnes. Like, I need to get Jimmy Barnes. But Sean Spikes is a second rounder in the fifth. So we can get him with the second rounder. Maybe Doug Hill is the play here mid first. Yeah, let's pull the trigger. Why not? 73 overall, normal development. That's another value pick. This guy's another coverage linebacker with 88 XL. Let's go. How 
many picks did we have? What the hell? I just realized we've had so many already. Okay, Sean Spikes it is. I'm not waiting any longer. 69. Okay, so I did reach. That was a good value pick for like the fourth round or something. I should have just traded back, bro. I knew it. I'm going to trade away the fifth round, isn't that? We've, we've already had way too many picks. Brian Griffin. <laughs> Hold on. So in the same draft, we had Jimmy Barnes and we had Brian Griffin. He's a 71 overall. 25th in true talent. In the seventh round, we got a first round quality player in Brian Griffin. What a funny draft it's been. A kill call was the only hidden development we got, which really is disappointing. Start of, okay, start of. No, nothing special, guys. Everybody move away. So that was really solid in terms of overall, just no developments. I'm hoping we win rookie of the year on both sides of the ball. Realistically, we should. Don't see why we wouldn't. I need to find that quarterback. Where did that quarterback go? McKinney dropped all the way to the 21st pick. He's a hidden dev. Oh, Trubisky's obviously gone then. Let's see if this guy's like a superstar or something. He is a superstar. There you go. If we needed to draft a quarterback, we would have got him and we would have had ourselves a superstar. So, oh, well, I mean, that's just the way it had to go, right? So, after season one, we sit at 78 overall. We've had better teams before. But the rate that this team is going to progress at is going to be amazing. we got Joe Mixon as an X Factor. Joe Burrow as a superstar. Unfortunately, Reese, who probably might get traded away. I've learned my lesson. <gasps> and we have T Higgins. Like, what am I legit? I'm trolling. I'm actually trolling. At least on the other side of things. The D-line is pretty solid now. It's not solid. It's a lot better. we got Brian Griffin, a fullback. Drew Sample, a tight end. With our spikes, a backup. Absolutely have to have Wilson after getting Defensive Rookie of the Year. Akil Cole and Doug Hill at left outside linebacker. This means that we could probably trade Sykes away. Okay, so Sykes probably has to go. We can get another trade out of that. On the positive ends of things, we did get another cornerback as well. So that's all well and good. I think this is a really good start. We just got to let this team progress. That's pretty much it. But fellas, if you made it this far in the rebuild, you are the real MVP. I'll be back with part two in the next couple days. We will relocate everything in between. If you made it this far in the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Hey, you love to talk. I don't talk. I get it. Yeah, you know I'm about to dip it. Kill me, I'm a let it. Run into the bag like I'm so athletic. I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire. I just need my credit. When I go far, I need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on so my feet touch heaven. Heaven, heaven.